Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cozy Chair. I am so glad that you are here. And can you do me a favor? If you like the Cozy Chair, can you please push the like button down below? And also please share with your friends. Share with those that have young kids and would love to hear some stories because that makes me happy because I get to read to more kids. Today I have a wonderful, wonderful book to tell you about. It is called Wonder. Now look at this book. It is a little big for me to read on the cozy chair. But if you're listening and you're a parent and you have kids of old, you have kids that are older, then I really recommend reading this book to them because it is really wonderful. It's all about a boy. His name is August and he looks different. He looks a lot different than other kids. And it's a story about friendship and kindness and seeing people for who they really are inside instead of what they look like. But I am so happy to tell you that RJ Palacio has also written, <gasps> We're All Wonders. And this is a kid's book for kids like you. So when you're older, you can read this book. And when you're younger, we can read this one together and learn a little bit about kids that might look a little bit different. Today I'm going to read you We're All Wonders, written and illustrated by R.J. Palacio. And I think this book is great. Look, even the back, it says, I know I can't change the way I look, but maybe, just maybe, people can change the way they see. This is a great book about choosing kindness. So I hope that you like this story. This book is published by Alfred A. Knopf. I know I am not an ordinary kid. Can you see how he looks different? Sure, I do ordinary things. I ride a bike, I eat ice cream, I play ball. I just don't look ordinary. I don't look like other kids. Do you know somebody who doesn't look like other kids? Hmm, think about that for a minute. My mom says I'm unique. She says I'm a wonder. My dog Daisy agrees. But some people don't see that I'm a wonder. All they see is how different I look. Sometimes they stare at me. They point or laugh. They even say mean things behind my back. But I can hear them. Look at them. Do you think it's very nice to stare? Stare at somebody that's different? No. What about talking about them? Or pointing and laughing at them? That's not appropriate. It hurts my feelings. It hurts Daisy's feelings too. When that happens, I put on my helmet. I put Daisy's helmet on too, and then we blast off up, 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 up through the clouds. Across the galaxy, all the way to Pluto. We say hello to old friends. I love his imagination. Look at his friends there that live on Pluto. From far away, the earth looks so small. I can't see any people, but I know they're there. Billions of people, people of all different colors, people who walk and talk differently, people who look different like me. The earth is big enough for all kinds of people. I know I can't change the way I look, but maybe, just maybe, people can change the way they see. If they do, they'll see that I'm a wonder. And they'll see that they're wonders too. We're all wonders. Look with kindness and you will 
always find wonder. Isn't that a really great book about choosing to see the inside of people, what they're really like inside instead of just what they look like. So I hope that you really liked that book. If you did like that book, there's also a movie called Wonder. And so there's a big book, a big chapter book, and there's a kid's book, and there's also a movie. So after you've read one of these, make sure you email me at thecozychairclub at gmail.com and tell me what you thought of this book. Thanks so much for coming, and please remember to share with your friends so we can have more kids listening to books instead of watching TV. Thanks so much for coming, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.